Ah, you are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Indeed. I am from the Congregation of Merchants. My name is Desade. To whom do I have the privilege? Sister Ephesia, envoy of Teleme, by the grace of the Illuminated. Enchanted. The Mother Cardinal has tasked me to investigate the activities of this village. She also sent me here to be your second. What excellent news. You cannot imagine how much comfort that brings me. How might I help you? How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their... priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps. Although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Tumad, on all Menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an on all Menawi that you are different from the other Renaikse. What do you seek? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything, and that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect, all that surrounds us, and that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your clan? My people are proud, full of courage and tough. That which destroys others makes us stronger. Many of them fear us, even amongst the other clans, because the fury of the storm warriors is a story often told. But when we are not fighting, we are peaceful people, and we are happy guarding over our sacred woods. Anything more? Concerning this story about a sect... Enough! Enough questions! I have nothing more to say.
good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burt Tyr Dumad Renaikse. Oi and the Donegad, yes. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But... It is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Qua Awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. Can't you leave us alone, Monisanai? Leave me be! Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace! Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Birtir to Madrenaikse. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it is the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gokane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. What can you tell me about the rituals? Oh, I see what interests you. You want to know how our warriors are so strong, but I don't have an answer. It is a secret of the Donega. The rituals I know are made to celebrate nature, to honor and bring her blessings upon us. Let's try something else. Are you on Olmenawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I am not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donega. Your turn. Could you tell me more about your beliefs? What a strange question. I don't believe. I know. Nature is alive. A forest is like a village. Every river, every rock, every beast, the land itself, all live, all speak to us. In exchange for these gifts, we honor her. Give her our dead. This is the way of things. We do everything in our power to protect her. It was fun. More than with the woman who makes light. She did not want to play. You have a strange stare, Renaixe. Leave me alone. Renaixe, ya toigan, quahesa de elodes, Samel Mila, mach de wegander.
Birtir Dumad on Al Manawi. What do you want? This question will seem strange to you, but do you know anything about a demon? A demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong, said that nature was just nature, and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods, or cross paths with wild beasts. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead, in the rain that quenches us and drowns us, in the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. You're different from the others. What is your role in this village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. You others, when we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. I must leave now. Thank you for your help. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but they don't seem all that keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know a little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet there is something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried, on edge even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything, but someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. That fellow was really nervous. Perhaps we should try and search his house to see what he's hiding. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. We could break one of his pots. That would keep him busy. Or we could ask for help. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to be fast. And it will only work once. 